On Tuesday this week, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Taiwa, suspended five members of Parliament subscribing to the opposition after drama ensued when the House did not reach a consensus to play a video tabled by the leader of opposition, Matthias Mpuga, on allegations relating to human rights abuse in Uganda. I invoke my powers under Rule 89 for Obaruzo procedure, suspend the following members for three days. Number one, Honorable Namboze. Number two, Honorable Sake. The suspended members vowed to continue with their parliamentary activities on grounds that they are servants of their respective electorate. I'm actually, if it means sleeping here, I'm going to sleep here. Nothing like stopping me from doing my duty as the Mitiana Municipality people sent me here to do my work as a member of parliament. And I'm here to stay. But the parliament's regulations bar any member who is on suspension from accessing any designated premise of parliament, as explained by Chris Obori, the head of communication at parliament. It means you will not appear in the chamber, you will not appear in the public gallery, you will not appear in the lobby, you will not appear in the grounds of parliament, or any other place that the speaker will have designated as parliament at that particular time. So the officers of parliament are precincts of parliament. This has affected the investigations by the Parliament's Committee on Rules, Privileges and Discipline on the alleged misconduct by MP Zake Francis, who was referred to this committee by the Deputy Speaker Thomas Taiwa last week. But you cannot now represent your people in the House. You cannot talk. You cannot appear before any committee. You cannot attend any committee meeting. No committee can ever even summon you to appear before them to answer pertaining, you know, concerning other, uh, uh, like for the case of Zake. The Committee on Discipline, Rules and Discipline, cannot now call Zake because he cannot access Parliament. Zake is, among others, accused of using vulgar language against MP Juliet Chinyamatama while in Rakai district. And we have already notified him and uh, the other witnesses that on Wednesday we will begin here in the world. This and many developing events, including opposition walkout protest, have since last week tested the patience of the rules and procedure of parliament. The deputy speaker, Thomas Taiwa, was witnessed in his Wednesday communication to the MPs, emphasizing the strictness of the regulations as a way forward to contain the increasing commotion in the House. Okay. I want to, to read for you verbatim two very critical rules. One is Rule 83. A, a member shall enter or leave the House with the decorum. B, a member shall not cross the floor of the house or move around unnecessarily. While a member is speaking, all other members shall be silent and shall not make unseemly interruptions. Daniel Mugoya, Gloria Gwitabinji, UBC News.